trip, you have memories. It could be from 10 years ago, five years ago, last month, but this is the one trip that you remember and you remember for the rest of your life. I took a trip to Beirut, Lebanon about six years ago, and it was the greatest experience of my life. I would love to live there. Amazing, just amazing culture, amazing people, everything is awesome. I'm gonna tell you about the trip. Um, from the time I left to the time I got back. Um, my parents said, hey, we're going to Beirut, Lebanon. This is right after the September 11th attacks. That next summer, I was like, oh, heck no. I am not getting on a plane. I'm not going to the Middle East. We go. I went. Um, <laughs> we left from Charlotte, and we went to Washington, D.C., and we flew out of Washington, D.C. to London, and London to Beirut. Um, Going from the States to London, 13 hours. Yeah. That was the longest plane ride I thought I was never going to get off. I thought we weren't going to make it. I thought we were running out of gas. <laughs> Everything that you think could go wrong was in my head. We get to London and we immediately fly to Beirut. We didn't get to Beirut until about 8 at night, so it's dark. And flying in and seeing the coastline and the skyline, amazing. Yeah, just words can't even describe we land, you know, the next day we go out, we see the city, amazing, a lot of poverty, but on the good side of town, like Valentine here. Um, the food there, amazing. I was like, I came back here and I was like, yeah, hot dogs, cheeseburgers, don't want them. Um, jet lag, when I got there, awesome. I love jet lag. I love sleeping, like 13 hours, 14 hours, it's great. Um, the best part about going to Lebanon is there's no speed limits, there's no age limits. Clubbing age, you could be 13 in the club, drunk. Not that I was. So. Um, speed limits don't have them. They, you know, they don't even care. They might fool you, and you're like, "Yeah, well, I'm speeding. Like, what can you do?" And they're like, "Slow down," and you don't. Um, the price difference, it it's kind of the same, but Overall, it's more expensive in Lebanon. Um, now, smaller things such as getting your nails done, here getting a fill-in, maybe $15, $20, there it might be $8. Uh, pedicure, manicure, like half the price. The trip back, I didn't want to leave. I did not want to leave. Um, definitely didn't want to take a 13 hour flight back to the States. Got back here and I was like, I think I'm ready to go back. 